We're back with Bella, George, and her mom, Rachel. And, and Rachel's a mom. I have to imagine it just warms your heart to see Bella up walking around. Did you ever expect to see that that way? No, once they put Bella on crutches, we kind of thought that she would be on crutches for good and move on to a wheelchair with the progressive disorder. And seeing her up and running is fantastic. I, I've never seen a Great Dane service dog, but there's obviously some, some major advantages when you're looking at, at mobility and, and support. Right, well, because of their size, they're great for Bella's size. It's great for her to use it as a crutch, but if it was an adult, their motto is to drop the cane, get a Dane. I like that. So like it's the that. right that size. That is really cool. By the way, Bella, I was asking you during the break your favorite subject. You said science class. Mm -hmm. What is George's favorite subject? As long as he can sleep, he's good. So whatever, okay. I love it. Really quickly, I want to introduce pediatrician Dr. Tanya Altman. Uh, this is not something we've talked about. Morchio syndrome is very unique. What exactly is it? So it's actually a very rare autosomal recessive inherited genetic disorder. So Bella got one gene from each of her parents. They're both carriers. So if two people are carriers, their child has a 25% chance of developing the syndrome. It's remarkable to me how in medicine we have all these treatments and cures and inventions. And sometimes you get back to just the simplest of all is having a service dog like George. And I understand that you don't like Star Wars at all, right? Oh, no, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Yeah, it's like my favorite she, thing. Because we actually reached out to Hasbro, and they heard about your story and all that you've overcome, and they're going to gift you more than $1,000 worth of Star Wars products. And they're all based around the Star Wars The Force Awakens movie. <laughs> what do you think of that? How do you like that? We're not done quite yet. Bella, check this out. The Lego group, also inspired by your story, and wanted to give you over $1,000 worth of Lego construction sets, including some new sets which are based on Star Wars The Force Awakens movie. Not done yet. And Merlin's Magic Wand Foundation wanted to give you and your family Tickets to Legoland California Resort for this weekend. Woo! Enjoy. Thank you. And guess who's going to, George? <laughs> Star Wars, outdoors, and Legos are like one of my favorite things, so. <laughs> so <laughs> and since Bella has overcome so much, um, this isn't all we have. We actually have a really, really special guest. We wanted you to meet along with George. Um, he traveled all the way to the doctor's stage from a galaxy far, far away. Oh my Please welcome R2-D2 to the stage. R2-D2, there we go. You know, Bella, I, I'm pretty sure that R2-D2 has a little message for you. I want you to look right up there, Bella. Hi, Bella, it's Mark Hamill. You remember Luke Skywalker? I hear you're in the studio with my old buddy R2-D2, and he tells me you're strong, courageous, and never give up. And that means one thing to me, the force is strong with you, Bella. Have a great day. and. Maybe one day, Millie can play with your dog, George. They make a great couple, don't you think? <laughs> Archie, you too, thank you for that message. Thank you. So what do you think, Bella? There's so much excitement in me, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, how about this? You just enjoy it because you deserve it. We are so very blessed that you came on this stage to share your life story with us. You are a remarkable young woman, Bella. Thanks for coming. And you too, George. Thank you for coming on the show. George, thank you, buddy. R2-D2, thank you, pal. Rachel, thanks for being with us. We'll be right back.